Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to do a Lightroom tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a couple things. I'm going to teach you how to create a preset, and then we're going to develop an image using a preset. Okay? In this preset, I'm going to create, I'm going to call it a medium HDR preset because it's going to increase the range of the image. Okay? So with everything set at zeros and default, let's go ahead and start our preset. Exposure, I'm not going to do anything to, but I am going to boost the contrast. So I'm going to do plus 75 okay and then over here oh, about minus 75 how about 75 and then on the highlights I'm going to minus 75 and then the shadows I'm gonna do a plus 75 and in the whites I'm gonna do a minus 75 and in the blacks we're gonna do a plus 75 and this will basically create like a an S curve, a reverse S curve actually. Clarity, I'm going to set somewhere around 25. Okay. So we've got that set. Now I'm going to come down here to my S to my uh curve adjustment, my tone curve. The way this works is if I create, you know, based on the histogram information right here, this is a luminance reading of what's going on in the file. Uh this is for the RGB red green and blue combined and then I can do individual channels here so if we grab this this tone curve and we set a point up here and we set a point down here it creates that general S curve well I'm gonna hold down the uh, let's see here I wanna reset this so I'm gonna right click and I'll flatten the curve what I wanna do is I wanna come in I wanna pin this section I don't want these middle tones to to move okay and I can slide this down a little bit okay I just want to create a highlight curve and a shadow curve adjustment so I'm gonna grab this and now it's only gonna affect the highlights and down here I'm only gonna affect the shadows to see how the center didn't move it moved a little bit but not much because I pinned it with those points okay so now we got the tone curve I want to go down to the detail slider or the detail sliders and I'm gonna apply some sharpening I'm gonna apply about 65 in the sharpening and I'm going to set my radius at around 1.2 detail well let's see somewhere around 15 we don't want too much sharpening detail and the masking will set around 30 okay noise reduction I'm going to add a little bit of noise reduction because we pumped up those blacks we've added noise in those dark areas so let's just set this remember this is going to be a global starting point for us so let's put this around 25 and our detail somewhere around 35 because I don't want it to be too much so we're going to 35 and we won't worry about the contrast and down here in the color since we might have generated some color noise let's set this around 20 and the detail somewhere around 35 alright so now that we've got this information in set into the sliders what we'll do is we'll create this as a preset so we'll click this button here and I want I don't want it to be under user presets I want it to be under my own presets I'm gonna start building lots of presets and I'll offer them to you guys if you want them but I'm gonna speed up my workflow by using presets in Lightroom so let's do a new folder and we'll call it T S P Tom Shoe Photography okay and we'll call it TSP HDR medium okay so this is our preset now if we check none okay we'll start there so first of all we don't need it to apply a white balance we need it to apply the basic tone because we adjusted those curves and we need we adjusted those sliders and we want to adjust the tone curve and we want to adjust the clarity and we want to adjust the, the sharpening okay and that's all we need if you oh we also did noise reduction now we didn't do anything with the color we didn't do anything over here in the post cropped or lens correction so we don't need to add those now the process version it says if we don't select this it may produce a visual result in future versions of Lightroom we don't want that to happen we want it to bring it in seamlessly so we want it to update the process version to whatever's the current process so we're going to click create okay so now we've got this preset that we can apply to the file so we can reset the image and we can just apply this preset at any time okay so 
Now this doesn't look like much because that was on a flat file. Let's develop the file and let's apply the preset and we see what we come up with. Okay, so we'll go back to the basics. And the reason why this image looks a little bright is because I exposed to the right. When you create a file exposing to the right, the file's a lot larger than a file if you expose into the center or if you underexpose, it even gets smaller. 80, 80 to 90 percent of your file creation is in this range on the histogram. That means that all the information in these high tones eats up more space in creating a file than the information in the blacks and the shadows. So if you expose to the right, it's real easy to enter all the blacks and into the shadow detail and you can you know this this file would have nothing in it okay this information you could never recover from it you know it would be real noisy and bandy and pixelated however if you expose to the right you can get a very dense file okay and you can always add the darks in later but you can't go from darks to highlights it's just a trick with digital that you have to to think about when you're doing it so I expose to the right and also when you bring in images inside of Lightroom it's using Adobe algorithms with a partial SDK which is a software development kit from Canon or Nikon or Olympus or whatever you use it doesn't have the full algorithm from those companies it uses what they provide with uh, to the public to work with their files but they guard those algorithms really closely at Canon and Nikon they don't release them so when you bring in a file inside Lightroom or Photoshop it's going to read the pixels that are, that are there however they don't have the algorithm to get everything just right so whatever Lightroom bakes onto the file is based on their Lightroom or based on their algorithms so I've noticed on some of my files the images look a little bright when I bring them in Lightroom so if I do minus one on exposure and minus 35 on contrast this looks more like a lot of the files that will I'll see on the back of my camera now I know I exposed to the right so they will be a little bit brighter however I'm just gonna start with this as my working point I always use the exposure slider as a brightness slider and I can add contrast in with the detail sliders that I call the detail sliders anyway which are the highlights and shadows so the first thing we'll do after we've set this basic uh, adjustment starting point is we'll set a white point We'll hold down the Alt key and this will give us a mask to show us where we start to clip information and we'll drag it to the right. First we'll look in the information here in the in the file, in the scene, and we'll see what's supposed to be white. And we notice that these parts of the clouds are really bright, so these will probably clip first. So we'll move it to the right and we'll see that yes, it's starting to clip. This gray area represents the luminance of the file, and then the R, G, and B represent the red, green, and blue obviously of the red green and blue channels so we will pull that white over again and if you notice on the right hand side of the histogram there's a gray bar and a blue bar starting to climb up but once it's climbed all the way to the top it's completely blown out without detail okay so that's probably hot enough for a white point so let's set a black point we'll go down and hold the alt key and we'll drag to the left first we'll look in the file we'll see that in these bushes here there's obviously some black areas living in there because you know the sun's really high in the sky it's going to create this dark shadow so that's where we'll look for the clipping to happen in these shadow areas and that's what we'll use to set our black point so we'll hold down that and slide to the left hold down alt and slide to the left and we'll see that it starts to clip that information into those shadows which might be a little bit too much so we'll bring it a little bit to the right okay so now we set a black point to our image so without going into the detail sliders and adjusting highlights and shadows say if I wanted to you know control how those highlights and shadows look in the skies or the shadows down into this area of the of the file we'll double click and reset those I want to use our preset to give us a starting point for color and some other things so we'll go down to the TSP and we'll click on the medium HDR so now we've really opened up the image and we have a a pseudo HDR with one click of the mouse now you can apply that to the images as you bring them in but with RAWs you have to develop them so let's go to before and after so this is before and this is after before and after 
Well, that's it for today. I hope that you uh, learned something about the presets and something about how the Lightroom interface works with RAW files. And thanks for watching.